Okay, guys, so on Sunday, I went to what they call a record riot. It's basically just a room, depending on where they're at. They actually travel and go to different states, but it's a room, a bar, you know, a venue, something like that, full of different vendors selling records. And there's like independent record store vendors. There's just some like people just trying to get rid of like old stock. So a lot of varying prices. They had a pretty good selection. I had the most luck with the R&B selection, but I was looking for some like punk, metalcore, like modern rock. I really wanted some of the older Bad Omens records and some of the older Sleep Token records. So I was hoping to maybe find those, even if they were, you know, resale price. I unfortunately did not find any of those. I love seeing these older records, like these Jimi Hendrix ones. I love Jimi Hendrix. I don't know though, like in terms of pricing, what is good and what is bad when it comes to older records. I've bought in a lot of like first edition pressings or first run pressings of like Queen albums. And I'm like, oh my God, these are probably worth so much money and they're not. So I don't really know if pricing is good or bad. Some places had stuff alphabetized and organized and other places didn't. So it was really like you had to spend hours digging. It was overall a good experience, so let me show you guys what I managed to pick up. So, it's officially been an entire week since I went to this record riot, and I decided to finally film my haul so I could open up these records because I'm super anxious to see if the one is what I hope it is, but I feel like it's not going to be. Side note, I guess. Let me know if you guys are excited for this upcoming record store day in April because I looked at the list and there's genuinely like not one thing that I'm like, oh, I need that. Which I guess is a good thing. Kind of sad too. So let me know if you guys saw anything that you want and what you're getting from that because I'm just curious to know like what is going to be the most popular from that. So the first thing we have here is Revival by Eminem. Now this was at a bunch of different booths. Um, as you guys saw at the one booth it was $28 and then at another booth it was only $22. So I decided to pick it up at that booth and then I found it at another booth for $20. So I was like, Ugh. but it's okay. The booth where it was $20 had a lot of like bootleg import stuff so I wasn't confident if it was legit or not so I'm happy I got this one um I only have a few Eminem records in my collection not too too many but I do like this album I don't think it's necessarily like his best album but it's not horrible so I think for $22 was pretty reasonable we're gonna take a look at it I assume it's gonna be standard black yes it is pressed on standard black. Good to have. I'm very happy to add this to the collection. And then from the same exact booth, I also picked up um, the Spider-Man 3 soundtrack. Now, I do already technically have this, but I have a picture disc version. I don't know if this pricing is the best or not. It's probably not. I feel like these don't hold too much value, but... It was $20. It is sealed brand new. It includes like a bunch of really, really great songs. Uh, it is just like the regular album so I can actually listen to it. I love the artwork, but Spider-Man is my favorite superhero. So I've been trying to get as many Spider-Man records as I can. So when I saw this and I knew I didn't have it, I figured why not grab it? It's not necessarily, like it's not new by any means. This is from 2007. So we're gonna open this. Ooh, it's a gloss. It is a gloss cover, which I like. It is a gatefold. Oh, that is stunning. Okay, take a look. Oh, there's picture sleeves. It's pressed on red. Shut the front door. It's like red with black smoke. Oh. oh. It didn't say that on the label at all. I. I uh, 
the <laughs> why does this look so good I don't like this like crunchy sound that's happening because I feel like there's a lot of like paper like bits Ooh, it's like ugh, it feels like sand um ooh, definitely gonna have to clean this oh freaking gorgeous uh, oh my god uh, ingenious like to do red with black smoke for spider-man 3 i'm so happy i got this for 20 dollars. i don't care if it's only worth nine dollars i don't care it's worth 20 dollars to me and that was incredible okay very very happy with that purchase like way happier with that purchase than i initially was it doesn't say anything on here about being red with black, so maybe the common pressing or the regular pressing is just colored like that? I don't know. Crazy. The first thing that I actually picked up was something that was on my want list. I've been wanting this album for a very long time uh, since it came out. I missed the web store exclusive, which was a blue pressing. Which isn't like the end of the world because blue doesn't really match the album cover. It's not bad by any means, but I have not been able to find it anywhere. Like at any record store I go to, I always look for it. I can't find it. So when I saw it, I kind of snagged it. It was a little bit expensive personally. I think it's a little bit overpriced, but I had not been able to find it. So I figured, you know what, I'm just going to grab it. I tried to do like a quick search to see like what the actual value was or like if it was available on Amazon. I'd, I try not to necessarily always buy from Amazon unless it's an Amazon exclusive, but I will check Amazon to kind of compare price points and see like what I would be willing to pay for something. I found this and I tried to scan the UPC on Discogs and it would not come up. And I looked at the Discogs like albums and the UPC does not match. So I'm kind of nervous that it's a bootleg and it's not legit. I don't know. I want to open it and see. It's not the worst quality. Like it's not fuzzy. Like it looks legit. Like half the time when I get a bootleg record, the print on it, like the album cover and stuff is not the best. Like it's super fuzzy, but it was Vince Staples self-titled album. Typically that is what is super blurry and it looks pretty clear to me. Um, on the back, all of the information at the bottom looks pretty legitimate. The text is clear. So it was $42. This was the first thing that I bought as soon as I saw it. I really debated it though. Like I said, I scanned it on a few things. I tried to look up the UPC. Okay, so before I have everybody roasting me in the comments and getting down there being little keyboard warriors, even though I was looking for advice, I did some deeper digging. And if I was smart, I would have done this at the convention, but my service was not the best. So it was hard enough to verify that the UPC was not accurate that's the first red flag. Like, if the UPC doesn't match, it's more than likely a fake generated one. I looked closer at some of the Discog listings and verified that this is definitely a bootleg. The first thing is that they all have this clear sticker on the cover. Mine did not have the clear sticker on it. The second thing is the back is completely different than mine. Um, it is navy blue, it is a lot smaller and centered versus mine is a black back and the text is like a yellowish color. You guys will see what it looks like. It's a pretty high quality bootleg. Like I can't still be mad. Like I said, this was an album that was super hard for me to find. I do think I paid way too much for it. I wish knowing what I know now, I paid half of what I did. Um, I probably could have ordered the standard black one off of Discogs, just to be honest with you guys, for about 25, 30 bucks. It's all on me. This stuff happens. I mean, you can't know everything and everything's a learning lesson. I've intentionally bought bootlegs in the past. The pressing is also not the same at all. So this is what the pressing is supposed to look like. You guys will see what mine looks like, but it's different. It's fine. It's, you know, if as long as it plays and sounds good at the end of the day, I can't be too pissed. 
But if anybody knows where the origin is of this bootleg, I'm still curious because I cannot find this thing anywhere. So I have no idea where mine came from. But um, yeah, lesson learned. It is what it is. I'm I'm not mad. Um, I'm just happy that I know it's not legit. I don't know. I I am really hoping that maybe it's the web store exclusive. If it's not, it's okay. I've been wanting this album. Maybe you guys can tell me if this is a bootleg or not. Okay, it's a gloss cover. It's a gloss. So now I'm a little bit worried that it might be a bootleg because it's gloss, but I don't know. Because gloss isn't like too, too common. Soundtracks and stuff, yeah, I see gloss a lot. I do have some gloss albums, but not too many. The spine looks pretty good to me. Let's see. Whoa, the inside is sick as fuck. This is what the inside looks like. I don't know. Is this a bootleg? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay. Here's the front. Here's the back. I think this is a bootleg. It's blue. But I swear on the merch shop for the blue album, it was like a navy blue. Like it looked like like this blue. Plus it's got a lot of dirt in it, which is something else that I feel like is pretty common with bootlegs is they get these like dirt flakes pressed in them. I feel like it's bootleg because unless the merch store released it like and the color wasn't accurate on the website, but yeah, if somebody could leave some input, I would definitely be interested. I'm very happy with what I got. Did I get a lot? No. Um, admission was $15 because I wanted to go early. If I would have waited like two or three hours after that time, it would have only been $5. But as soon as that time hit, it was jam-packed like sardines in there. So we left. So I'm very happy I went early and paid the extra 10 bucks. I think it was worth it. And I still got some good stuff. It wasn't what I had in mind, but I got something off of my want list. I got a new Spider-Man album, which is fantastic. I'm still super hyped about that. And then I got a pretty decent deal on Revival. So I'm happy. If you guys saw anything, I know I didn't get too, too much footage, um, but if you guys saw anything that you thought was interesting, let me know about it in the comments down below. Again, let me know what you guys are looking for at Record Store Day because I'm just curious if anybody's super hyped about that or not. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.